Hello and welcome to another informative episode of Housing Development, your number one housing TV program that emphasizes on the provision of decent, accessible and affordable housing to all Nigerians. As always, I am your housing diva, Flora Annie. Coming up today on the program, Shelter of Rick Science MOU with Reden to finance 6,000 housing units, plus the inauguration of committee members for the AIHS 2021 Youth Competition. Stay tuned as we bring you these and more on the program today. First, let's see the news making rounds in the sector. About 56,000 construction projects belonging to private and public sector organizations valued at 12 trillion naira have been abandoned across the country, according to the Institute of Quantity Surveyors, NIQS. President of NIQS, Abba Tor, said findings by the Institute showed that most of the projects were abandoned due to poor research on the monetary estimates required for them. According to a statement issued by the NIQS in Abuja on Sunday, Tor, who spoke at the workshop, said private and public sector organizations should strive to deliver projects promptly. He explained that most projects failed due to lack of precise estimates required before embarking on construction in an era of price fluctuation. The president said the institute was committed to curbing the incident of project failure and abandonment through the provision of effective construction estimates. The Ogun state government has announced that it will begin the mass registration of property title documents to aid owners of residential homes and commercial property register their assets and obtain the necessary building permits at affordable rates within a specific period. This was disclosed in a statement by the Special Advisor and Director General, Bureau of Lands and Survey, Mr. Aina Salami, at a stakeholders' meeting in Okemosan, Abiokuta. The statement, signed by the Information Officer, Ms. Morolayo Fadairo, noted that the program would have an in-depth review of all the activities being rendered to the public with the goal of greatly reducing the number of days spent in conducting transactions with the Bureau. Salami said, this program will enable owners of dwelling houses and commercial properties to register their assets and obtain necessary building permits at affordable rates within a fixed time frame. Contributing, his counterpart in the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, Mrs. Kikelomo Longe, appreciated the Bureau's efforts in creating public awareness, which would further provide better services to the people. Four giants in the mortgage industry has showcased their innovative capacity to meet up with current housing crisis in the country in the just-concluded 15th edition of the Abuja International Housing Show that took place at the International Conference Center in Abuja, Nigeria. They are City Code Mortgage Bank Limited, First Trust Mortgage Bank, Infinity Trust Mortgage Bank Limited, and First Generation Mortgage Bank. These leading brands in the mortgage industry showed innovative ways through which Nigerians can own their homes, thereby closing the gap in the housing deficit in the country. According to them, the time is ripe to come up with innovative solutions to the housing crisis in the country, stating that we cannot continue to do things in the old traditional ways and expect to meet up with global trends. They also pointed out that the housing industry is going smarter and digital, that a lot is happening around the world that Nigeria cannot afford to miss. They noted also that there is no better place to showcase some of their innovative ideas than the Abuja International Housing Show that brings together major players and stakeholders in the built industry. The show is an event that is setting the pace in housing development in Nigeria and Africa. Each of the leading mortgage banks showcased various products to many participants at the international show.
What is the name of my grandson? Suleiman. That's a good name. May the Almighty preserve him. I mean. Now that your family is growing, this is the time for you to start thinking of a house of your own. Abba, the thought of this has always been on my mind. To build a house now, you need a lot of money. And that is what is holding me back. Sunny, what you need is a mortgage. NHF Mortgage Loan. With NHF Mortgage Loan, you own a house up front and pay gradually over a long period of time. Abba, I will go to the FMBN office right away. Come join us at FMBN and let's shelter Nigeria together. That was housing news with the latest information in the housing sector. To read the full details of the news and more, do well to visit www.africanhousingnews.com. To facilitate the development of 6,000 affordable housing units in Nigeria, Pan-African Finance Institution Shelter Africa has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Real Estate Developers Association of Nigeria and the just concluded Abuja International Housing Show. Let's have a look. Shelter Afrique, the Pan-African Finance Institution and Real Estate Developers Association of Nigeria, REDAN, have concretized their pact for the construction of 6,000 houses in the country. The MOU was signed at the fourth day of Abuja International Housing Show, tagged Shelter Afrique REDAN Day, between the managing director, Shelter Afrique, Andrew Shimfonda, and Redan President Alhaji Aliyu Wamako. This agreement will see to the development of 1,000 units of houses in each of the six geopolitical zones, according to the MD of Shelter Afrique, Andrew Shimfonda. He also stated that Shelter Afrique will support large scale affordable housing schemes through the issuance of 250 billion naira bond very soon. For a country the size of Nigeria, um, we as Shelter Africa have one thing in mind, that is to provide financing, to provide housing financing, not only to the banks, but of course also to the developers, hence our association with my uh, good brother and friend, uh, the president for Redan, um, Mr. Aliu uh, Wamako, I should say doctor, right, doctor, uh, to, to launch a bond. Uh, by end of August 2021 for 250 billion um, naira. That is obviously for the Nigerian low-cost housing sector. The president, Real Estate Developers Association of Nigeria, Dr. Aliyu Wamako, said the signing of the MOU will help in addressing several issues affecting housing development in Nigeria and also would prefer practical solutions on increasing housing stock for the growing population and creating of employment as well as contributing to economic growth. It is my hope that the discussion will proper practical solutions on how to increase the stock of housing in Nigeria for our growing population which, is, which will lead to creation of massive employment and immense contribution to the growth of Nigerian economy. The signing of the MOU was conducted by Prince Sheyi Lufadeju Chairman, Board of Trustee of Redan and former CEO of Shelter Afrique, as both parties append their signature to the official document. I want to thank the management of uh, the Abuja International Housing Show, especially Mr. Festo Sadebayo, who has been the motivator, the man who is going up and down to make these things possible. Thank you very much, Festos. So please, can you append a, your signature on the document? The main focus, according to Dr. Aliyu Wamako, is to build 100 affordable housing units in each local council, and he says the private sector is ready to take drastic actions to invest in construction of affordable and decent houses.
towards the signing of MOU between Shelter Africa and Reden for the financing of developing 6,000 affordable housing units in Nigeria. Moving on, the official inauguration of the committee members to anchor the AIHS youth competition was also conducted at the venue of Abuja International Housing Show. Housing Development Crew covered the inauguration ceremony. As Nigeria endeavors to manage its public health and rebuild her economy during COVID-19, Abuja International Housing Show has inaugurated committee members that will oversee the AIHS Youth Competition, which will focus on the new generation of thinkers on the concept of delivering affordable homes, the first of its kind in Nigeria. This will no doubt help in developing beautifully designed affordable homes for low-income Nigerians. According to the chairman of the committee, Sam Odia, entries will be accepted from both single or group. The competition, which is in four stages, offers a total cash price value that range from 50,000 Naira to 500,000 Naira. The first stage is the screening for eligibility, the second stage is project concept, and the third stage, detailed project solution. The competition will end with the announcement of winners on December the 16th, 2021. So we have about four months to carry out this exercise. And the first prize that's been offered is 500,000 Naira cash prize. Second prize is 300,000 Naira. The third prize, 200,000 Naira. And there will be consolation prizes for finalists. So we, we appreciate the fact that it, it takes a lot of effort to partake in these sort of competitions. You know, so for those who are able to go and reach the final stage, there will be some form of compensation for them. There will be other prizes as well. We will accept single entries. We will also accept group entries. We, we actually expect that most entries, as you have rightly said, will be in groups. Speaking of the inauguration ceremony, builder Kunle Awobodu, president Nigeria Institute of Building, encouraged all contesters that will be submitting their entries to have builders in their team to give them a better edge of winning at the competition. I would like to recommend that you have a builder in your team. Young builders from schools, how we are trained, all of us who are working together. So when they design, where you, they place on the board architectural drawings, you look at the areas of challenges while consulting that in future, Cost of maintenance might be unachievable. That is, there will be problem maintaining this building in the area of uh, external facade and so many other things, placements of windows, a lot of technical things. And I think if you do that at the end of the day, what you are bringing out will witness minimal corrections. On his part, the Managing Director of Family Homes Fund, Femi Adewale, says Family Homes Fund will sponsor the first prize winner. I want to make a gesture that the Family Homes Fund will sponsor the first prize winner. In addition, we also make room to ensure that it is not only designed, but actually those five first prize winners, and some of them we look at, actually get built. And we will provide financing for that building. The winners will also be considered for possible job employment, according to Kabir Umar Gano, representative of Brains and Hammers. The inauguration of AIHS 2021 Youth Competition Committee members that will anchor the competition was conducted by the president of Nigeria Institute of Town Planners, Town Planner Toying Ayinde, alongside the president of NIOB, as well as the Lagos State Commissioner of Housing, MD of Family Homes Funds, and MD Brains and Hammers. The competition will provide the opportunity to empower the younger generation with real-world practice in affordable housing development. Hello, my name is Casey Arrest. I'm the Executive Director of the Center for Affordable Housing Finance in Africa. We're based in Johannesburg, South Africa. Please keep watching Housing Development Program. It's a great show. 
Welcome back. You're watching Housing Development. They just concluded International Housing Show Futures Exhibition of Building Technology for Affordable Housing, Home Interiors, Modern Construction Equipment, Chemical and Pens Products, Mortgage Services, and a whole lot more. Now, here are some of the exhibitors that attended AIHS 2021. You're watching Housing Development. Funds is a social housing finance agency. Uh, primarily what we do uh, are in three ways. Uh, we provide um, construction financing for public and private sector developers. Uh, we also support uh, individual buyers uh, with home loans uh, assistance. And uh, more significantly, across both of those two products, uh, we look to support the government's agenda uh, to create jobs. Uh, so our mandate encapsulates both of those. Over the next five or so years, we expect to build about 500,000 homes. And in the process of doing that, um, we will be creating about 1.8 million jobs. So that pretty much sums up what we are about. In a development market like Nigeria, the um, cost of, of the housing uh, is a major challenge. Um, in a low-income economy as we are, it means that most people can't actually afford uh, the houses that are being built and that is one key area of our intervention. We are looking to build homes that Nigerians on the minimum wage level, that's about 30,000 Naira, can afford. So it means that for our 2 million Naira homes, for example, uh, you probably will be paying between 10 and 11,000 Naira a month. So that's about a third of the minimum wage and delivers affordability. So we are finding a solution to affordability. My name is Maureen. I'm a representative of Floorcraft. Um, so it's a premium flooring company. We're actually the ones who pioneered um, SPC flooring in Nigeria. Our floors are 100% water resistant. They're anti-sleep, they're antibacterial, um, and they're very suitable for high traffic areas, meaning you can have them in schools, you can have them in churches, you can have them in anywhere that you have pretty much traffic. Um, the reason why this is a reasonable alternative to laminates is because Compared to laminates, with laminates you have um, scratches, over time it starts to change color, but with our SPC, you don't have that. The only time you actually have a scratch on our SPC floor is when you abuse the floor, that's when you use heavy, um, when you drag heavy materials over, over it, that's when you have scratches. We also have wall moldings um, for TV walls, they can run from wall to ceiling very suitable, 100% water resistant also. Um, we also do outdoor flooring for pool areas, pool decks, um, walkways, verandas and the likes, also very durable. And we have a minimum of 10 years warranty on all our products. Our showroom is just behind Transcop Hilton on Ademola de Tokumbo, number 16, um, Obum Plaza. We're on the second floor, 205, so you can come around. My name is Manji Ermea. Uh, I work uh, for eBlocks Architectural Solutions Limited. Uh, we are into uh, selling of uh, a panel, block panels called eBlocks. eBlocks is a, a polystyrene technology uh, that uses uh, expanded polystyrene for the form of the blocks and then a uh, uh, sandwich between a two glass fiber mesh and then it is uh, pre-finished with uh, a coating of uh, polymer and a cementous uh, material that is uh, proprietary to, to us. Our blocks are energy efficient, they have uh, a quite a high R value. Now the R value uh, that talks about the ability of, of uh, all the property that uh, a material possesses that hinders heat transfer from within and outside the material. My name is Sylvester Emmanuel. I work for Infinity Trust Mortgage Bank. We are mortgage bankers. 
Infinity Trust Mortgage Bank. What we are doing as a bank is that we create mortgage facility for people that want to own a home. We have it in two forms. We can access the National Housing Form via Infinity Trust Mortgage Bank, which comes from the Federal Mortgage Bank. And it's affordable. The interest rate is 6 percent. And uh, you can take the loan for a maximum period of 10 years. The loan is a, is a social loan that comes from Federal Mortgage Bank and very affordable. Aside the National Housing Fund, we also avail our own in-house loan. In-house loan in the sense that you can assess more than what Federal Mortgage Bank will be willing to give. Like the Federal Mortgage Bank loan, the maximum each individual can assess is 15 million. But for our own in-house loan, you can take up to 50 million. It all depends on your capacity. Depend on your capacity and the duration or the, the the duration of assessing the loan is very short. You can we can avail the loan to you within two three weeks, maximum of three weeks. You can get the loan to purchase the property you are willing to buy. The lack of affordable housing is affecting millions of people in Nigeria. The COVID-19 pandemic made the situation even worse, with an increasing number of people struggling to pay rent. Housing is a fundamental human right that must be guaranteed to everybody. For a socially just and sustainable recovery, we need to make sure that every citizen benefits from decent, affordable and sustainable housing. Let's reflect on these as I end today's episode of the program. I remain your housing diva, Flora Anne. See you soon.